Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Brianna and this is Beach Babe View. Today we are going to be talking about one of the newer products from Wet n Wild. It is their Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator, Tinted Skin Veil. Uh, I'm under the impression that this is somewhat of a tinted moisturizer, BB cream kind of deal. Um, so I was excited to try it since it's totally up my alley. I don't like a lot of heavy foundation. I don't really need a, you know, super heavy foundation. So this is good, especially for the summer too, if you're going to the beach or you're going to be out going to the boardwalk or outside and you don't want to be sweating all your makeup off. And this is a great, uh, kind of product. So I'm excited to see what this has in store for us. Uh, it does say it has hyaluronic acid, which is one of my favorite ingredients, nice and hydrating for the skin, and squalane, and it is oil-free. It does say sheer to medium finish. So I'm excited to see how that works out because sheer and medium are two very different things. I'm assuming that means it's going to be buildable, so we'll have to check that out. Um, it says that it provides hydrating benefits, buildables, yes, awesome. Buildable sheer to medium tint for flawless, softly luminous complexion. Uh, Plant-derived squalane helps promote healthy looking, supple, moisturized skin. So let's get into it here. I'm gonna open it up, it's a little tube. And I'm gonna have to try to get this off with my nails. So once you actually get it open, um, it is just like a little squeezy tube. So I think probably what I'm gonna do is kind of just put a little bit on my finger and dab it on. I think I might need the other mirror here for a minute, so I'm gonna bring that into the shot. Okay, get your hair out of the way. I'm gonna put it on my finger and kind of just dab little spots. And I'm not sure if it's set a shade on here. I don't see one particularly. Um, yeah, that's weird. Oh, here it is, light medium. The color I got is light medium, so if you can kind of see the color here. And I'm just gonna put little spots. This looks like a great color for me. It's very, very light from what I can feel immediately. And you can use your fingers to blend this, or you can use a beauty blender. Um, I'm probably gonna use a beauty blender today just because I don't feel like doing the whole like sliding it all over my face. It gets a little bit more of a even coverage of the beauty blender so just putting a little bit of dots and always remember to put down your neck a little bit and then I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender here and just dab it in and I'm going very very lightly so that it's not picking up too much on the sponge huh. You're all blended in and from the get-go I'm already super impressed with this um, it feels like I'm wearing nothing it is super lightweight feels just maybe like a moisturizer but it actually did a really nice job of covering the imper small imperfections discoloration stuff like that in my skin uh, I'm gonna zoom you in a little bit just so that you can really get a close-up of my face and see what it looks like Okay, so now that we're zoomed in, you can really get a closer look at how this uh, tinted moisturizer is performing. I think it looks great. Like, I am super impressed. And especially Wet n Wild is so cheap that, I mean, you really can't go wrong. Um, so my first impression is 100% positive. Totally recommend. Uh, it feels amazing. It's so light and it looks really good. I mean, I have like a nice little luminous glow. It's not real dewy dewy it's a nice in between it's not matte but it's it's natural looking and that's really what I go for in my everyday makeup I want to look like I'm not really wearing makeup other than if I'm doing like crazy eyeshadow and stuff like that but I want a very natural look to my skin and this is definitely giving that to me so I'll just let you take a look here I usually like pores wise it looks really good I usually get a little bit of like you know bigger pores around this area but I can't really see anything um I think it looks really good I mean I don't 
I wouldn't say it would don't expect it to cover dark circles or you know really like darker like acne marks or scars or anything like that but it's really nice for just all over the face do a little bit of concealer under the eyes and on any imperfections that you want to cover and you're good to go so I am going to take it from here and do the rest of my makeup I'll pop back in and then we will do some check-ins later so I will be right back Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in real quick. I'm out on the beach right now and I just wanted to show you what the makeup looks like in the sunlight. I know it's hard for me to kind of see right now, but you can kind of see really good what it looks like in natural light. I'll turn a little bit here too. So this is what it looks like in natural light. It's holding up really nicely. So I will check back in a couple more times and let you know how it's holding up. But I just wanted to give you this little peek and a little view of the beach. So I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm here to do my final check-in on the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Um, it is about like quarter after 11, I would say. Um, so I've had it on for quite a while, um, all day, obviously. Uh, and it's held up pretty well. It looks really nice. I mean, you can see pretty close up here what it looks like. And it, sorry, I'm like, ex like beyond exhausted. It's been a long day. Um, but it feels it's, it was very comfortable to wear. It still looks really nice. My pores still look good. It my I mean the only thing I can see is like some of my blemishes are showing starting to show, and um, the redness. But that's probably honestly more the concealer than the foundation. So I can't really mark off for that. But I really like it. I think it looks really good, and I think it lasts really well. It's very comfortable and is a hundred percent worth the price, especially. And I will definitely use it again. So I definitely recommend it. I will leave a link in the description below with all the information. And uh, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad you guys have followed along with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my content. Feel free to share it with your friends and family as well. Um, I love sharing my thoughts and, and ideas and information with everybody. So, uh, And if you really, really love my videos, uh, make sure you click that notification bell to make sure that you are notified every time I upload a new video. And that being said, everybody have a good night.